Hey guys, and welcome to Tiger Den Collectibles, and here we are on a CGC reveal batch number one. So finally, we have received back our first batch of CGCs. Now, I don't do CGC very often, so I sent four batches into CGC, and this is the first one. And then we were spread out by about two weeks apart. So uh, through my experience, I was more of an experimental type of thing for me, as I usually <clears throat> send a one or two comics at a time, but I tried to do a full screen of comics to send out to CGC and see how it went. Now I have my buddy press the books, clean the books, and the first batch, uh, we did a pre-screen, so uh, it was a suggestion to maybe pre-screen some of the books to a certain level to see if they would pass, and if they don't, we can send the matters we thought may not be worth it. But, uh, on batch two, three, and four, we decided to just let it all fly. So if I send a book in, it's going to get graded and slabbed regardless. So that was probably a better option as doing the pre-screen. In this case, some people uh, may uh, like it for modern books. It might be more worth it. But because of the books I type ahead, I should have got them graded to begin with. Because the result of books is here. So let's go. Um, so here we are. This is the box that came in today. Today is February 5th. Uh, I'm sorry. February 6th on a Saturday. As you can see here, there was... 14 books we sent in the first batch, and 10 of them came back slab. Four of them got rejected, so they came back raw. So they refund most of your money, just in case if you're doing this for the first time. Um, depending, I would recommend, based on my experience from this, to probably do mostly moderns, unless you, you know, if it's going to be like copper, bronze, I mean, you might as well send a book in. I mean, you could, you know, put a Put a pre screen, I guess. I mean, some people, I mean, that's debatable. I guess you can write a comment below of what you what you do. You just put a pre screen every single time or not. Um, but um, I should have probably just let it go with this. And then, as you'll see, I'll show you the four books that I did. So, uh, the cherry pop tart, there we go. I, it was there. I should have just let it be slabbed. And they said it wasn't a seven. I mean, you guys take a look at this. I mean, the back is clean. So, I mean, sometimes they make a mistake, and you know, I, and I know a lot of people agree with that too. Uh, here is one of the Harbingers I sent in. This became, uh, I had this a 9.8 pre screen, otherwise, it would be sent back to me. I mean, it would have been still, it would have been terrible if it was a 9.6. I mean, because it's a mint book, it was just literally off the shelf. And um, the other two books, I should just let it fly. I had set this at 8.0. I mean, in the back, I mean, there's like it's just some spine ticks and stuff. I mean, it's a really clean book. I bet you if I read some minute, I'll probably get an 8.0, 8.5 on that. And I should have just let it, be, let it fly to begin with. Um, here's the other book I had. I set this at 9.6. So I probably just should have just slabbed it to begin with. So I will probably resubmit this book and just let it fly and reset. It's probably, I don't know, it was probably a 9.4 maybe. Who knows? I mean, you might get another 6 now on the second time. All right. So those are the four books that did not pass according to the pre-screen. If you look back on the CGC first batch part one sent video, and it should tell you what I sent in and what was the estimated thoughts on the grades that we thought we were going to get on the books. So let's break into the box. I know already opened it. And so that was just where you guys can know what had happened. So one of the first ones is the Cherry Pop-Tart. One did pass at 9.2. Okay, so again, desirable. It's probably worth two to three hundred dollars. I mean, it's a very niche market for that, but uh, people do like that book. It's probably one of the more popular books of the run. All right, let's go with another book here. Let's see what should I pick here. Let's pick this one here. All right, it is New Mutants. I'm gonna try to cover this here as I do this. 96. I'm, <laughs> I just told you the answer. Anyways, it's New Mutants 87, and the grade becomes a boom, 9.6 grade for the New Mutants 87. So um, this was pretty good. This was better than I thought. So uh, I was pretty happy about this grade. So a 9.6 is great. So that's a winner in my book. All right, another book we have here. Let's go with... One of the two predators that did pass its pre-screen. So here is the first one. As you can see here, beautiful looking book. And it got, boom, 9.4. So that was a nice score on that, I thought. 
Um, although I wanted something a little better if I could. And so here is the other book, as you can see. And it did come back a 9.6. So that was pretty cool. Uh, obviously, the goal was hopefully to get maybe at least one 9.8 anywhere across the board. Okay, here is another book that we sent in. Here is a newsstand edition of Amazing Spider-Man 316. What did we get on this? 9.6. So that was a pretty good score. And it was newsstand. And it's um, it's very cool. So that's pretty much all I got to say about it. So yeah, I sent a bunch more of these in anyway. So we'll see what happens with the rest of the batch that I did send in. Okay. Few more mixed books to go here. Let's go with the Black Panther number two. Now, my son in the previous video had put in the wrong cover. This is the first appearance of Shuri as it's starting to heat up. It is a direct edition, not the new sand. What do we get on this book? A 9.6. So, a pretty good score on that book. So, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, 9 8s are always better, but at least we still got a 9. Point six. All right, let's go to our next book. So I remember I sent in, if you remember, three ASM 300s. So two of them did get graded. Okay, we had a pre-screen at 8.0. Here is the new stand version of that, and it is a 8.0. Okay, um, so you learn a lot by doing this too. You, you know, you kind of get a better sense of the grading. I mean, the top has some little issues there. Spine does have some ticks because there is corner wear there. And there's also some wear on the back. So an 8.0 is fair. Now, let's go to the next ASM 300. This is a direct edition. And here we go. There it is. Okay, so, and the score is, boom, 9.4. A great score for this book. So I believe 9.4s right now, even in regular edition, are closing in on a thousand dollars. Yes, I just did say that a thousand dollars for this book. So that was pretty exciting because now that just pretty much sets the tone on that book. So that was pretty good about that. Okay, and we'll go to our next book here. Okay, there's two books left now, and here is our one and only two books. Okay, so there is a Harbinger. One and a Transformers one left. Now, here we go. Bam, and this is the Harbinger number one. Okay, so I sent two of these in. Okay, this one did pass. Remember, I sent a free screen for 9.8. And I got it. A 9.8 with the coupon inside a beautiful book. So, yes, I might sit on this for a little while there because you never know. But I am very happy that I have two books of the same that I sent in that I at least got one at a 9.8. Okay, now the next book, the final book, the book that I was really hoping for, and that is the Transformers number one in the newsstand edition. Yes, so I had talks with many people and you know, regarding this book as far as what we thought, this is the last book for today guys, by the way. Uh, what we thought the grade might have been, and it was, nobody said it was less than 9.6, and they said there was a shot at a 9.8. So what did we get? I mean, a 9.8 is worth around $3,000, and a 9.6 is worth around $1,300. Okay, so the final look, and it's going to be a uh, 9.6. So am I disappointed? No. Because at the end of the day, um, there was a book I randomly found in a pile of books. So we pressed it, cleaned it, and then my my boy helped me out with that. So I really big shout out to you, buddy. You know who you are. And um, 9.8 newsstand, I mean, I can't complain. You know, it's still a tough book to get in this grade. And newsstand especially makes it special. So I'm very happy with it for 1300 bucks that it's valued at right now. Um, yeah, I mean, it's for sale. <laughs> so anybody even interested in, let me know. It's in a beautiful brand new place. Just came back, uh, the other day. I mean, I got it today. Sorry, today. But in any case, um, so those were our books there. As you can see, out of the first batch, 
14 books, 10 came back slabs. So I'm pretty happy. It was a good learning experience more than anything. And then we still have batch two, three, and four that are out there, which would then, those are much bigger batches of batches of 25, 25, and 35 plus. So there's a hundred books. So we'll do reviews on those and see what happened on that. But at the end of the day, um, it was a great experience. It's a good learning curve for me because I don't grade books very much. So, um, who knows? Will this be a continuing journey of me grading books or not? I don't know. Maybe I'll just, pick and choose a little bit more pickier about what I decide to grade. But thanks again for watching, guys. And also, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, and comment below, as always, or email me. I'd love to hear from you guys. And all, everything you see from me that I do have, it's always for sale, too. So you're more than welcome to reach out to me. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.